It's all about the brain and trying to figure out how the brain works. So we know it's made up of a bunch of neurons and uh, we know that neurons are connected and a lot is known about how neurons behave. Uh, but what's really difficult to understand is, is what does it mean? What does all this electricity moving through this neural network mean? And how does that create uh, uh, what we do, what we think and behavior? And, and uh, trying to unravel all that and basically reverse engineer the brain. So your whole body's made of cells. Uh, trillions of cells, um, and they all kind of have their own specializations, right? So neurons are specific cells that have these special electrical qualities. So I've uh, drawn a neuron here. There's one I've drawn red, of course, this is way bigger than uh, it would normally be. And then I've drawn some other blue ones that are interacting with it. Now what's, uh, believe it or not, your brain has about 85 billion of these things, 85 billion neurons, and they're all uh, communicating with each other in this way. So let me just go through this. Th this is the cell body. These are dendrites. They're basically the input to the cell. And here's an axon that's the output of the neuron. So what happens is um, electrical activity comes from other neurons and they come through these things called synapses and they basically pass electrical activity to this neuron. And it adds it all up. It sort of builds up electrical act activity. And if it gets enough, it sends an electrical spike called an action potential or we call it uh, firing, the neuron firing, and sends it down its axon to other neurons. So as the electrical uh, activity comes in, you know, it can build up the, the, uh, the electrical charge, but then it can dissipate out. It can sort of build up and dissipate out. But there is just the way the cell membrane works, is that once you get over a certain threshold, once you just get slightly above that threshold, an entire change happens. And all these uh, gates open and other gates close and you get this massive uh, change in the membrane behavior which causes this basically it's like a spark it's like a spark of electricity called a, um, an action potential and it fires it down its axon and that's what gets passed to the next neurons so you can think of these as two neurons a red neuron and a green neuron and uh, you can think of the flow of electricity as the flow of water so as this red neuron fires it sends electricity or water to the green neuron and it collects it and it fills up and as it gets more and more full, it get, reaches a tipping point where it dumps its contents. And that's like an action potential. And it sends its water or its electricity to other neurons. Okay, so some of the first uh, experiments that were done to understand how uh, the brain processes information went something like this. So here I've got a little cat. It's not a real cat. Uh, the first experiments were done on real cats, of course. And uh, they wanted to understand the visual system and how uh, the visual system processes and represents information. So um, we're going to pretend that this is an electrical probe and we're going to uh, you know, surgically implant it into the cat's visual system, into a single neuron in the visual system. So now when information comes in, the cat, uh, when the cat sees it, that neuron will respond. So here's a, a demonstration. Now this bar is going to move back and forth and as it does, the cat's going to watch it, and we're going to see what that neuron does. So you can listen, and, and these things here uh, show the spikes as they're, as they're occurring. So right now, the cat's neuron is spiking. So what we notice is that as that bar moves to the right, the cat, that neuron happens to respond more, it fires more quickly, more frequently. So that neuron seems to respond something like this, if we were to draw a graph, that as we move the bar to the right, the firing rate goes up. And as we move the bar to the left, the firing rate drops off and even goes to zero at times. So this is one of the first experiments where scientists were able to probe individual neurons and figure out how the input was being represented as spiking neurons and how the spikes in the neurons were uh, related to the input.